friends, how's it going today? I'm super excited because we get to open up our first packs of Twilight Masquerade. This set has so many incredible illustration rares that I want, including Torkoal and Cramorant and uh, the Tatsugiri, and there's just so many. Uh, but the one thing that I didn't want was uh, this Thwacky promo, unfortunately. Uh, the Festival Grounds deck is really interesting. I, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be called, um, but, but I don't really like Thwacky. So I, at first I was a little disappointed, but this deck actually did really well for me. I won the entire tournament, uh, so I have some extra packs to open at the end of this video, uh, in addition to the three extra that you usually get for playing at a pre-release. But, uh, so that was the deck. The other really cool hitter in the deck is Frostlass. A uh, hitter might not even be the right word. Frostlass's ability lets you add 10 damage to every Pokemon that has an ability on it, except for Frostlass, in between each player's turn. So, in every Pokemon checkup phase, there's 10 more damage that gets added to Pokemon with abilities on it, and it's both yours and your opponent's, so you'll be hitting your Thwackies too, but it was so useful. Uh, lots of people- Ooh, oh, I got a scoop of Cyclone in this pack, I forgot. First pack magic, I had to show my, my neighbor who was sitting next to me uh, about that but anyway so Frostlass even though it damages both players Pokemon it, it really helps you more uh, because then you can add you know more damage with maybe if you're fighting with your Glalies or even with your Thwackies and Rillabooms. Rillaboom was actually surprisingly useful too it has a low energy cost attack that does like decent damage and then it also has a really nice heavy hitting attack with some recoil but whatever. Oh and then we have our Luxray EX oh I love Luxray so so much I was so excited to get that card it was hard to tell that I was excited because I, I moved away from it real fast uh, but the, the reason why is because I felt like I was running out of time to build my deck. Uh, by the time I was able to get into the store, people were already opening their packs, and so I felt like I was late, but it ended up that I had enough time to build a deck anyway, so probably should have savored that moment a little more, but don't worry, I've looked at it plenty uh, since then. Oh, we've got a boomerang energy in this pack too. Oh, and the Cramorant illustration rare. I was so hyped about that. I talked about that for a long time at the tournament. People were always asking, oh, did you get anything good? And and I was always like, yes, I got the Cramorant. And then they were like, uh, who cares about that? But the artwork is so cool. I love like the, the effect of the Cramorant kind of not being in the foreground, but still being in focus. And then the foreground is actually out of focus. It, the artwork is just so cool. All the artwork in this that is absolutely incredible. The artists recently are just doing an incredible job. And we got some last pack magic in this box with this full art ogre pond. So with that, let's take a look at our other packs that we got. So it's been actually a couple of days since the pre-release and we still have our packs open. So we got three extra packs just for playing in the tournament. And then I got four for winning the whole thing, at least in my division. So I'm super excited about that. So let's crack into these packs here. I really, really want to see some illustration rares. Those are the coolest cards in the set, in my opinion. Uh, I'd also love to see see a Greninja EX. I think that card is so, so cool. I, I don't see a lot of conversation about Greninja EX because Dragapult EX has really overshadowed overshadowed all the other EXs in the set, um, but I think Greninja's attack is so, so cool. Being able to snipe on the bench uh, to two Pokemon is really nice. So I got a Kilowatt Reverse, a Jinx Reverse, and then a rare is a Ting Lu Hollow. Wow, look at that. We don't really see the Treasures of Ruin looking super scary, but this artwork is absolutely terrifying. I don't I don't even want to think about what sort of thing that black liquid is made out of there that Ting Lu is stepping on. So here we go with our second pack here. I don't think we have all four of the pack arts yet. Have we seen all four of them? I just have uh, three here. So we've got a Timber, a Spinarak, Growlithe, Poliwag, Glamora, Poliwrath, Hassel. We've got a Boomerang Energy Reverse, which I loved using Boomerang Energy with Pinsir. That was so much fun. We got an Abra Reverse, and then a rare is an Infernape Hollow, which is super cool. Uh, the Pyro Dance ability is absolutely incredible. I faced a couple of decks that used in Infernape um, as kind of their main Pokemon, and, and the Energy Acceleration was super, super nice. It, it really threw a wrench in, in my strategies every time I played those decks. So here we go with our next pack here. I'm having trouble holding cards. We've got a Darkness Energy, a Slugma. Slugma is so cute. There's a Macargo EX in this set too, isn't there? I'm so excited. we got a Tadbulb, an Applin, Chiyu. Very cool to see a Chiyu. Kind of strange that it's just an uncommon though. We've got a Lucky Helmet, a Mightyena, Ariados Reverse, Growlithe Reverse, and then a rare is an Alakazam Hollow. Super cool. That's right. There's a uh, Kadabra in this set as well. So so continuing to print those Kadabra cards, which is good. I'm trying to think if there were any other like standout cards that were used in the tournament a lot. Uh, I, I didn't face against too many people. It was just three rounds. Uh, so I guess it's hard to say. But two of the people who I battled got uh, Ogre Pond EXs. And I, I did too, but I didn't put mine in my deck because I like to keep my uh, 
uh, like uh, my special cards, my uh, ultra rares safe, uh, even during a pre-release. Uh, but some people use them, and it was hard to, to beat those ogre ponds. So we got a core fish reverse. And then, well, you look at that. We got a two mask or ogre pond EX. Very cool. I think the full art one I got was the hearth flame one. So it's nice to have a different one here. I actually really enjoyed the uh, teal mask ogre pond, like the regular one, the holographic card. Um, I, I thought it was super useful to... Uh, you know, be able to do that. I think it's like an energy effect or something, and then there's like a 20 times attack. I always love those times attacks. They're they're often very useful. So we got a Snow Runt, a Laron, Glalie, Kilowattrol, Brute Modent. Oh, we got the Unfair Stamp! All right, that's great. I was just thinking like, oh, what are the good ace specs in this set? Uh, that is awesome. Unfair Stamp is definitely one that people are using. At least I'm pretty sure they're using uh, in Japan right now. So that's really cool. Uh, it really disrupts your opponent, especially if they don't have a Babarel or something when they just draw two cards there. Super duper cool. Then we've got an Aeron Reverse and then a Hisuian Arcanine. Wow, that is so cool. I love uh, just the, the artwork in this set so, so much. There's a lot of like, because Kid Kitakami is based on, uh, you know, a traditional Japanese style. Uh, there's a lot of really cool artwork in this set that's based on that Kitakami traditional Japanese style that's just so pleasing to look at. So this is our second to last pack here. We got a Kadabra, there we go. We got a Halucha, Tangrowth, Chansey, Ambipom, Agron. We got Cook, a Hassel Reverse, an Infernape Reverse, which is a rare, so that's pretty cool. And then a rare for this pack is a Walking Wake Hollow. Awesome! I love Walking Wake so, so much. It's so cool to just have it as a regular card instead of an EX. That is awesome. So now we're on to our last pack, hoping for some last pack magic here in this Dragapult pack. But honestly, I mean, we got an EX and then an Unfair Stamp, so I feel like we've gotten, uh, you know, enough. But it would be really nice to get an Illustration Rare or something. I think they're so gorgeous. So we got a Psychic Energy, a Watchroll, Glimmit, Thwacky, Heliolisk, Glalie, Kilowattrol, Brute Bonnet, we got a Scolipede Reverse, a Finizen Reverse, and then our final rare is a Teal Mask Ogre Pond. All right, so there we go. This is what I was talking about. Oh, look, it does 20 plus, not 20 times, but very cool. So for this portion of the video with our extra seven packs, we got some awesome cards, including this Reverse Rare Infernape, and then our Ogre Pond Hollow, Walking Wake Hollow, Arcanine Hollow, Alakazam Hollow, Infernape Hollow, and then our Ting Lu Hollow, looking very, very menacing. Then we also got our Unfair Stamp Ace spec, which is really great for decks. I'm super excited to be able to have this. And then finally, we got our Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX, looking very cute in the corner there, though also very angry with that mask. So I won't be giving out a code card today, just because I like to use the first code cards that I get. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. Look forward to some more Twilight Masquerade openings, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.